Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here to go over scientific notation with you. Scientific notation, it's a more convenient way to write numbers that are either really, really large or very small. Some examples might be numbers in the millions or bigger than that, or numbers that have a lot of decimal places. They're very, very small numbers. Um, numbers in scientific notation are written as a product of two things. So we'll have a number between 1 and 10 times some power of 10. Let's look at our sort of first rule for the big numbers. So if a number is 10 or larger, then your power of 10 is going to be positive, okay? And it will be based on the number of places that the decimal is moved, if you haven't done this before. So if I look at 71,000, think about where my decimal is. It's right at the end of this number, right? So if I move the decimal over places until I get something that is between 1 and 10, then I need to move it over 1, 2, three, four places, okay? So if I have my decimal there, then that will make that number 7.1, right? Because my decimal is between the seven and the one. And then how many places did I move it over? I moved it over four. So this is actually 7.1 times 10 to the fourth power for this first one. If you look at the second one, 643,900, here's my decimal. If I keep moving over until I get a number that is between 1 and 10, here I'm still at 643.9, 64.39. Once I hit this point here, then I am 6.439, and that's a number between 1 and 10, so 6.439. And then the question is, what power of 10? Well, however many I moved over, 1, 2, 3. Comma is three places there, four, five. Okay, so this would be 6.439 times 10 to the five for scientific notation. Two million here, 350,000. So my decimal place would be here. You don't necessarily have to count one at a time. If it's groups of commas, you can count those by three, right? So this would be three places there, and then another three places, and I'd end up right there. Um, and that would give me a number between one and 10. That would be 2.35. So that's 2.35, and then I moved over one set of commas and another set of commas, so that's three and then three more, so that would be a total of six places that we moved the decimal over for that one. If we look at numbers that are small, in other words, numbers that are less than one, the power of 10 will be negative, and it's based on the number of places the decimal is moved again, only we'll be moving the decimal in the opposite direction. So we're going to get negative powers of 10 instead of positive powers of 10. So here my decimal for 0 0.062 is right here. And to get a number that is between 1 and 10, I actually need to move it over two places. And if I do that, I get 6.2. Now I moved my decimal 2 to the right. So that actually means it's times 10 to the negative 2 power. Looking at this one, we have 0 0.0007. So from here, in order to make this number between 1 and 10, I move it over 1, 2, 3, 4 places. That will just give me plain old 7. And I moved it 4 places to the right. So that will be 10 to the negative 4. For my last one on the page here, I have 0 0.0000679, moving my decimal over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. I get 6.79, which is a number between 1 and 10, so we get 6.79, and we said we needed to move it over 5 places, so this will be times 10 to the negative fifth power. We might also occasionally multiply or divide numbers that have scientific notation in them. So we're gonna do a few of those. We have three times 10 to the fifth times two times 10 to the sixth. So what we'll do is we will just multiply the numbers in front. Think of that as one idea. We'll multiply our powers of 10 using properties of exponents, and then we'll combine those into an answer. So if I take three times two, then that just gives me six. And remember, properties of exponents say when I have the same base and I'm multiplying, then I will add the exponents. So 10 to the 5 times 10 to the 6 is going to be 10 to the 5 plus 6. This will actually be 10 to the 11th. So we get 6 times 10 to the 11th power for our answer for this one. For our next one, 6 times 10 to the 9th times 7 times 10 to the negative 4. This one's a little bit different. When I do 6 times 7, I actually get 42. And then when I add my exponents, 9 plus negative 4, or just 9 minus 4, then that will give us 10 to the 5th. 
Now here, remember this is not actually officially in scientific notation anymore because my number in front of the power of 10 needs to be a number between 1 and 10, and this is not. So think about this 42 has its decimal place here. What I actually need to do is move this over 1 to the left. So what we actually have just from this piece here, we actually have 4.2 times 10 to the first power because I had to move my decimal over one. And then we still have this 10 to the 5 on the outside. So I actually need to add one power of 10 to my 5 that I have there and say this is actually 4.2 times 10 to the sixth power. Okay, so after you multiply or divide, check and make sure that what you have out front is between 1 and 10 before you assume you're finished. Looking at these, now we're doing division. We have 7 times 10 to the 14 over 2 times 10 to the 8. So first thing, let's just do it as we did. 7 divided by 2. If you do that, you'll get 3.5. And properties of exponents, remember, tell us when we divide with the same base, we will subtract the exponent. So this will be top exponent minus bottom, 10 to the 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8 will give us a power of 6. So this will be... 3.5 times 10 to the sixth power. Over here, think about doing the division separately. So we have 9.6 divided by 1.2. If you actually do in your calculator 9.6 divided by 1.2, then that's going to give you exactly 8. So we have 8 times, and then we will subtract these. 12 minus negative 5 is going to be like plus 5. So this will actually be 8 times 10 to the 17 for this one. All right, everyone, hopefully that helps you with converting numbers to scientific notation and doing some operations with scientific notation. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.